Hey everyone, welcome to the new quick tip tutorial. I got a lot of requests uh, from the last time how I do these plant containers, so I thought it would be a good thing to do a short tutorial and we'll be creating something similar like you can see here, of course without all of the things around. So let's switch to the layout view and I try to do these quick tutorials really short so we have to rush and if you feel like it's hard for you to catch up you can always go ahead and check out my courses on polygonrunway.com you can find the link in the description there's a new one on character modeling and other types of illustrations and they are designed to take you from beginner level to a level where you're comfortable designing things like this in shortest amount of time possible and you get to be a part of our closed community group where we discuss all things 3d every day and help each other so if you're interested please go check it out and now let's start modeling first let's create the base for the plant container so i'll press shift a and add a circle like this and we can modify this to like 24 segments and now let's tab in press s to scale it up a little bit now press f to fill and let's press e to extrude something like this and now let's press i for inset and E again to extrude inside and one more inset because I want a little bit of a structure inside that the plants are kind of growing around or something so let's press E again to extrude and we can then press ctrl B to bevel and to make this a little bit more interesting we can press ctrl R create a loop here in the middle press ctrl B to bevel you know and alt E extrude faces along normals and push this inside a little bit so we have a little bit more geometry to work here with and let's alt click the loop right here and shift alt click here press s and z to scale this and push them out like that so this will be a base for our container and now we can make it a little bit more interesting by going to the face select mode by pressing 3 select this face right here and by holding control let's go over this loop like that and now just press g then z and move it down to create this kind of like a cut so it's not all the same and we have a better view of our plants or something and now let's tab out and let's give it some smooth treatment so right click shade smooth go to the object data properties normals and let's enable auto smooth and increase to 180 degrees now let's go to the modifiers tab let's add the bevel modifier let's enable angle limit method and let's reduce the amount and now you can enable wireframe overlay so you can actually see what the bevel modifier creates and let's increase the number of segments like that and i really like this so far and let's switch the auto miter because here I don't like this geometry so let's switch this to arc that will clean it up a little bit more and now go to the shading and enable harden normals so we get better smooth shading and let's play with that amount a little bit more to create something like this okay now I will disable the wireframe overlay and let's create some plant right now so let's select this object let's press H for a while and let's press shift A and add a plane we can leave the size as is and now go to the edit mode by pressing tab let's press s then x and scale it down like this let's look from the top by pressing 7 on a numpad and let's create some more cuts so i will press ctrl r and create two new loop cuts right here and right click to release now go to the vertex select by pressing one select these two vertices press s and scale them on x axis so s and x scale them like this now select these other two and the last two like that okay now we can tab out and press ctrl 2 to add the subdivision modifier with two levels of subdivision and now we can go back into the edit mode select this face right here let's rotate a little bit and press g then z and push this out a tiny bit so we are able to create some kind of leaf and let's now press ctrl r and create a new loop cut here in the middle right click to release and now let's select all of these words here press m and merge them at center and now press 2 for edge select by holding shift select these two edges and press ctrl b to bevel them like this you can control the number of cuts with the mouse wheel and create two cuts right there 
and now just select this vert right here at the top let's enable auto merge and press g twice and slide it all the way here and now select these two edges in the middle again let's press g then z and move them down to create this kind of ridge in the middle and now we can additionally select these side edges press g and z and move them down like this okay now select all let's look from the top again so press 7 on an numpad and now press g then y and move it up so it sits on the origin point right there now tab out and we can press shift d r and 120 degrees let's press enter to confirm and let's press shift r to repeat and now let's just select all of them press ctrl j to join and right click and shade smooth so we have a nice leaf here and to make it a little bit more interesting you can always tab in and with all of it selected press shift d z move it up rotate 60 degrees so r z 60 and make it a little bit smaller like this and push it back down so we get something similar okay and with the leaf complete we can now unhide the container select the plane here and move this up make it a little bit smaller and now all we need to do is distribute this around so let's press g move it somewhere r twice to rotate with the trackball rotation and let's repeat this thing and just distribute it around and you can optionally make it smaller press r and z twice to rotate it on the z-axis locally and this way you know get some nice placements and basically what are we trying to do here is kind of conceal um, that pillar there so it's not visible where the leaves are really growing from um, we are not aiming for any kind of realism here or anything we just want nice clutter of leaves in place okay and let's move it up like this make it smaller Okay, I think this will do for now, so let's just press Shift A and add the plane as a background. Now scale it up and we'll need to create a cover for this container. So let's press Shift A and let's add another circle like this. Now I will toggle the X-ray so we better see what we are doing. Let's look from the top by pressing 7 and let's scale it up up until here. And now let's press E then Z and move it up like that we can adjust the height and press f to fill now I'll toggle the x-ray again and i will press ctrl b to bevel this and i want just one segment so reduce with the mouse wheel and confirm now tab out and there are several things we need to do here and most of the time when i do these tutorials i kind of model things and then you know fast forward and create all the lighting and materials um, in the time lapse but here I want to show you how to do that in glass um, both in EV and cycles so we will focus specifically on that now and then I will fast forward with the other materials and lighting and stuff like that so right now just shade this smooth and let's go ahead and we can add the same bevel modifier so shift click the base right here press ctrl L and link modifiers and that will transfer your modifier here and one last thing we need to do is to enable that auto smooth and go back to the modifiers and add solidify modifier because we want to create a glass so we kind of need this object to have a thickness like this and now we can adjust that thickness right here so something like that and let's check even thickness and you know we can move it above the bevel modifier so it gets included and just to be safe, select both objects and let's tab in. Press A to select all and Shift N 
to recalculate normals. Now let's tab out and we can switch to the material preview. Right now, this is not much here, but let's go to the render settings and we can see the render engine is EV, which is all right right now. So I will just enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections to get some better visuals. And don't forget to expand screen space reflections and enable refraction. And now go to the materials. Let's select this top object and let's create a glass material. And you need to enable refraction for the material as well. So let's scroll down and enable screen space refraction in the settings. And now you can just raise the transmission and you will get nice refractive material. And of course, we'll need to reduce the roughness here as well. And I suggest if you really want um, the clear glass, um, you need to set the color to really white, which is not by default. You can see it's not all the way. So let's increase the value all the way to white and you have a nice glass effect in EV as well. And this will work in cycles. So no matter if you render this now in EV or cycles, you will get a nice glass material. If for some reason you don't like um, the refraction result, if it's too much distorted or something, um, there is an IOR setting here, which is set uh, for 1.45, which is okay for the glass. But if you want less realistic results, you can set it to something like 1.1 and you will see um, the image won't get that much distorted. So I will probably leave it like this and now just finish with the rest of the scene, the materials give it some lighting and render it out.
So that's the glass plant container for you. You can see I just added some details, added basic materials and the emission light under the plant. So it's uh, nicely backlit and some three point lighting around the scene. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy seeing tutorials like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified when I release something new. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.